So this is the S20 Plus from Samsung, who has very kindly sent it to me for this review, and it's going to go back as soon as I'm done with it. For long-time viewers of this channel, you know that whenever I get a phone, I like to take my time with it. I like to actually use it in the real world before I can tell you what's right and what's wrong with the phone, what I like and what I don't like it. Now, with all the madness that's currently going on in the world, it's taken me a little bit of time to get back into the phone. But now that I have, I'm going to share with you the 10 settings that I like to change to optimize my phone, get a better user experience right from the outset. Let's do this. Hey, welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. Right, I live in my notification panel. I mean, I see all the notifications, I make all my setting changes, but I don't want to have to pull all the way down from the top of the screen. What I can do is I can select the home screen settings and then I can enable swipe down notification panel. Now on such a lovely big screen, anywhere on the screen you simply pull down and your notification panel opens. That's the first thing I start. The next thing I look at is the number of apps that I have. I have a lot of apps. I wanna squish as many of them as I can onto one screen. Again, you pinch, home screen settings, then you get something called the app screen grid. And then you can choose small, medium, large, extra large. And obviously the smaller than the icons are, the more that you actually squash it onto one page. So now I simply drag the icons from the second page, drag them to the first, and I have so much space to play with. That makes me happy. The next thing I do is that even on my home screen grid, I want to squish as many as I can into one location. So I simply change the size there as well. Yeah, that one got me super weird and super stumped. You see, when you press the power button, it doesn't switch off your phone, but instead it wakes up Bigsby. I mean, like, why? So, press the power button, long hold it, and it will actually show you how to switch off your phone, showing you that it's now in a different location. Now, if you want to, you can stick with it. I don't want to. I want to go back to using the side key as my power off button. So, how do you do that? Pull down. At the top, you see you got the little power button there, click on that. Now, some people might like it, but I want to remap it. So at the bottom, you have the option to side key and to remap that. Now, if you double press, it can launch the camera. Yep, I still dig that. But underneath that, press and hold, and it's going to be now my power off menu. And that's how it should be. So this being an Android 10 device under display, you're going to find something called the navigation bar. And I want to enable the full screen gestures. Yes, it does take a bit of time to get used to it. But once you do, it makes your experience so much better. The way that it works, swipe up, it closes this particular menu. Swipe up and hold and you can go to your recently used applications. And let's just say you open up a blog and you're trying to read a specific page. Now you want to take it one step back. Well, you simply tap from the left or from the right and it just takes you that one step back. Now, speaking of swiping up, when you swipe up, you're going to see all your apps. Well, I don't like that. I want to be able to select them from my app drawer. So there's something called the app button. So let me show you what that looks like. Now on the screen, little kind of dots there. Press on that and it opens up your app drawer. You can still swipe up, but I just don't want to get confused with the navigation. Realistically, does anyone not have a battery percentage? I mean, we all have it, so why is it not enabled by default? I never understand. The way you enable it on this particular device, swipe down three little dots on the top, and now you're gonna select the status bar. When you do that, there's something called show battery percentage. Simply enable that, and there we go, voila, 98% battery. Now I know where I stand. Right, next up, let's talk about the brightness of the phone. You know the little slider that you can slide up and down to give it more light or less light, depending on the condition that you happen to be in. As you can see, it is in my quick panel, but it's not immediately available. You gotta pull down twice. So how do we do that? We change that, three little dots, click on quick panel layout, and then you have the option called show brightness on top. Enable that, and now, Basically, pull down once and your brightness is back to where we used to it being there. The beauty of having an Android phone is the ability to customize the phone exactly how you want it. Unlike um, <coughs> cough, Apple, cough, other operating system which don't allow you to do that. So, for example, I want to drag and order my buttons. I'm moving dark mode to the front because I use that quite often. I want to have it at my fingertips. 
Now that I've done that, swipe down and there is my dark mode. Speaking of dark mode, if you wanna get more settings in your dark mode, long hold on the dark mode and then it will take you to a couple of options to customize again. Turn on as the schedule. This is new, you can have something sunrise to sunset or you can have a custom schedule. Right, so one of the big pluses of the S20 is that of course it's got that beautiful 120 hertz refresh. This is how you set it up. Go into settings, go into display. Yeah, there's a dark mode again in case you missed it elsewhere. And you go into motion smoothness. What you want to do is you want to enable the high refresh rate, 120 hertz, click apply, and then remember it will have some impact on your battery, so use it wisely. Now, of course, the S20 is great when it comes to camera. I've done a video about that. There'll be a link up here. You can check it out. But there's a little bit of customization that I'd like to do. So, for example, I use something called the night mode. So what I do is I drag that, bring it down to the basically the toolbar, for lack of a better word. And now, whenever I want to, it's right there next to single take. Let me know what you guys want to see. Do you want to see camera stuff? Do you want to see gaming? Do you want to see tips and tricks? Little poll up here, hit that poll and let me know. Check out some of these other cool videos down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if you like this. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in one or both of those videos. Can be both, that's fine. I'll see you over there. Let's go.